So last week I asked you, goes lady, if you registered on Okta. Yes. Have you registered? I did. So it's now 57 percent. Yeah. Of women. 67. No. 56. Was I, it 56 before? Yes. Oh. I, I feel like this rates were probably over 70. Ah. Yeah. With everybody else, right? Yeah. With doing, everybody yeah. who was. Because you guys love week. money. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know. You know. <laughs> uh, it would do anything just for. Did money. you see though that um like. Did you go to the webinars and the tutorial? I saw the tutorial and I was like, actually, this is doable. Like, it's easy. I can. Did you see you know, how user friendly it is? Like the, 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 yeah. the, 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 the how you explained it was perfect because I literally just was, I just registered and you know I'm getting the hang of it. Are you on the but demo now, version now? I'm on the demo version. version of the app, but demo. Yes, uh, uh, money. I haven't used my real money, so now that's the next step. Now it's about. I think from this conversation we're gonna have, I'm gonna take it. You know, to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. Now, could take your time. They even have like analytics, like graphs mm. to show you patterns of certain currencies and uh, the I'm foreign exchanges. Get, uh, I don't understand. You're not there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know like a stop loss order? Uh, wow, Sol, is this uh, you? Uh, Sol. Wow. <laughs> You know, they put like things in place, like to to ensure that you know you you like it's almost like security measures, you know, like stop loss to say that when you know a particular maybe currency gets to a certain amount, you must sell. So even you don't need to like be awake at 2 a.m. to check these things and stuff, you know, like take profit orders and stuff like that. But you'll get there. Okay. Yeah, it's just like they've got all these. Safety measures, uh, so that you don't, uh, you're not awake half the time, all the time, to. Because that's what we understand about trading. Like, yeah. You have to be constantly limits. just yeah. You said limits that if I, I, I'm asleep or I'm with them now, I'm making a second bond, a third bond, yeah. it can automatically stop, you know, and oh. sell a particular thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful man. So What make sure you start trading right now. Register on Okta, and the promo code hasn't expired. Use the promo code MACG100. That's M A C G 100 to get a hundred percent bonus on your deposit. Make sure you trade responsibly. And Okta is a registered F. What else did you do? And that. Um, I also studied web design. Wow. So I also have a qualification. I know coding. <laughs> Wow, you know, wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yes. You're a web designer. Yes. Wow. It's because it's not like this woman just decides to concord this thing and like, oh, okay, fall in love with me. Concord. <laughs> concord, eh? Concord. What's that potion? Concord. Hi, Sakana, what is that? It's fun not to have a best friend. Like, you don't necessarily need to have a best friend. No, you got it, man. What, what kind of life is that, man? What do you mean? You gotta have a best friend, don't you? We're not seven, bro. <laughs> like, your best friend. You have a favorite color while you're at it. <laughs> Fuck that, bro. Best friend. Because Monday to Sunday is killing it now. Monday to Sunday. Ah, it's killing Which it. Which one is Monday to Sunday? Monday to Sunday. Na, 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 na. Uchwalaba. Hey, Uchwalaba. Uchwalaba. Yeah! Mac, wait! <laughs> it was... Oh, hi, Mac! Got into an Uber and the guy just farted, dog. Ah, hey, hey. <laughs> did you know? <laughs> For real? Yeah. And I tried to open the windows, but the smell wouldn't go away. Ah. Oh no, 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 no! It's probably the smell of the Uber, the natural smell. Some Uber smell really bad. But it was an Uber black, dog. Yeah, you some Uber smell that. really bad. You didn't expect that from some guys sleep there, bro. <laughs> What? Are yeah. you serious? Yeah, I was wondering who was going to say and they're like, "Who gave me this?" Like, no, dog, I've been in an Uber for four years. Who is saying that? Not one person saying it, Anna. Who is saying that? Who got something in him? For real, like guys, all sleep there. Yeah. And I'm told out me by a washer, my saying the pig was long. Who is going to have that nuga indoor? I'm like, fuck that now. When you say no one farted in the Uber, bro. That's a natural smell. No, some Uber smell really bad, though. Yeah. I don't want to lie, bro. Damn. And it's not like a quap. I can stand the quap, but it's saying yeah. that it's like, 
a mix of <laughs> pubic hair, sweat, dried sweat, <laughs> so a whole concoction of foul shit. <laughs> Maybe that's what we're smelling. How do you establish? You go to high. That's what's smelling. You're an ass, man. You're a fetch an ass, man. You're a sand. 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 you Wow. Hey. Wow. Hey. Wow. I, maybe we're just not the type who just goes around sniffing. Like, just. No, I would go around like sniffing. Early on morning. Is it yeah, like an early sure. morning breath kind of smell? You see that I can't. It's like, oh, okay. You know? And you know, I was. Uh, I was uh, so, so you farted. Yeah, I think you farted, dog. Did you confront him? No. How do you, how do you confront him? Like, what do you say? Ususela. <laughs> oh, like. That's it. I couldn't I couldn't say that, man. I just opened the window, but it wouldn't go away the whole time, bro. It's crazy. The whole they, trip. It's not the fart, then that's the natural smell it's the of the car. Smell yeah. of the car. Yeah, like the guys some some sleep there. Okay, the Sisanga. And uh, true story though, some some uh, that I've been in. Mm. And you can tell nah man, this guy probably sleeps here. Mm. You know, for whatever reason, God knows, I don't know. But yeah, that, that's probably the smell. I know like the armpit smell, smell feet smell. Okay, those are the ones I can say, oh, okay, I know that. Like, that's the smell of armpits or feet. You know? Inyao. Like, you can say, like, mm, okay, this person is wearing maybe techies with no socks. You know, that smell. Look, wrong case this. for a few days, wrong case. Or some people, about case is You know, more case are joy. It's not embarrassing. Yeah. Yes, yes. Like some men feel like it's embarrassing. Like, Are you serious? I'm not the one. Who cares we want? You know, you know, like no. you have to be honest to yourself. You know what I mean? You yeah. know, if you you sweat and stuff. So some gents are about cares that because maybe they feel like it's not manly. You know, who cares or that? And then it smells. Yeah. You know, yeah. I used to be a meter, uh, meter taxi driver before. Oh, yeah, movies. yeah. Rose taxis and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that's how you you were driving around Dineo, right? Dineo. I used to drive around the original Shwashui. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sonia. Okay. Yeah. I uh, drove around uh, Lona. Lona Maseko. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes. How many women do you impregnate in the cab? Zero. What do you mean? It's a meter taxi. Ah. Oh. So, I'm going to meet you so cold. Uh, come on. <laughs> I was young, dog. I was you young, were young, man. yeah? What other job do you do, like, before radio and stuff? Uh, as a student, call center. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I've, that. I've, I've mentioned that before. As a student, call center. And then I did, like, promotions. And I've mentioned that with the car. But it, that was, like, promotions. It could do anything. And then mm. I was hired to like promo the new three series because the owner, it was Tyler Student. Mm. The company, it was stationed in Brom, like mm. the offices. And then I had to like, the, but I was a student, you know? Mm. Um, and that's it. Those are all the like only jobs I've ever had, like proper jobs. And like, you, ghost lady? I worked at... She's done everything. Yeah, I've she used to be a DJ. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. For, whoa. No, I was learning how to DJ. I didn't oh. actually DJ. Mm -mm. So I just know the, the skills of DJing. No. What are the jobs did you do though? Um, I I worked at Foshini when I was in uh was it Foshini or Truett? I can't I'm not sure when I was so in the tertiary. TFG, yeah. yeah. Um, I worked there. I was very happy. What know? were you doing there? I was working on the floor, you know, like just making sure the clothes are helping customers. You know, I was still in. It was like my first job. Which Foshini? High Park. Ah, oh, nice. wow. there used to be a Foshini. Yeah. Shit, wow. We probably met there. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you schooled around at Hyde Park High. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was when I was still at Triple A because I remember I was still studying at Triple A. Damn, you studied Triple A? Yes. Whoa, branding, advertising and yes. stuff. Yes. I Whoa. majored as an art director. Whoa. Yes. I graduated. Yeah. 
You got you have a qualification yes. as a what the, wow. Three year diploma. Yeah. How you have you never used it? <laughs> I no, did. I'm curious, really but curious. No, 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 I did. I did. I worked um at an agency and that's when I decided I don't want to do advertising. Hey. That's when I just decided I was like, no way. Hey. The long hours, the I could see it's just, just like bad decisions because hey. you end up just drinking every day, the smoking. It was just no cocaine, the heavy uh, on cocaine. Yeah, you know. like what management was on cocaine. <laughs> Shots is not in his head. I was like, no, 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 no. I just could foresee that. I, I made a decision. I think I was still like, like 22, 23. That I don't want to offer be in you this a industry. Line? No, no, no. I was never offered. Uh, but it was just rumors like, oh, these guys, this is why they can work throughout the night and they are like, you're like, oh my Yo, God. For what, real? Is a, what does an art director do? Like, what is that? So it's basically um the part where, like for ads, <laughs> right? So you're the one that will um have the concepts, help with the because it was graphic design, is the one that obviously designed that design elements, putting together whether it's the logos or the visual elements. But with the um, art director, it's putting it's being the person who decides on the styling, you understand? So Tibbler's an art director for the podcast. He always places the alcohol perfectly and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah I've the seen the guys. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. just understanding the styling, where everything, the layering, the layouts, how things come together. And, you know, so, but the graphic design work is obviously the work where people would, okay, with its logos and the placement what of this and that. Um, I also studied web design. Wow. So I also have a qualification. I know coding. <laughs> Wow, it's you know, HTML. wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> yes. You're a web designer. Yes. Wow. Wow. Yes. You're also a web designer. I'm also a web designer. <laughs> hey, what else? Now, wow. <laughs> now, wow. What else are you? What else are you? Wow. I do everything, oh. <laughs> when did you study web designing? Actually, at Damlin. Huh? I did it at Damlin because I was just trying to also get, get um, equip my what skills. What the fuck? In so you yeah. left AAA for Damlin? No, I didn't leave. I finished AAA. And when I was working, um, at some point I decided I was, oh, the decision to do uh, do the course for web design was when I was pregnant with my son. Imagine, I did a whole course, web design passed while pregnant. Wow. wow. So there's a lot of things we don't know about you, eh? Yay, right? <laughs> I'm so proud and, of myself. And when did you get your law degree? When? No, I never did. <laughs> 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 no, no. Remember, remember. Now I've, I'm, I've got the ambition to be a psychologist or do something, just understand or therapy and stuff. So, but I'm still cons- thinking. From advices I've been getting, it's like, hmm, don't go that route, you know. Even Fact Checker was one of the people that said to me, gave me some advice. And imagine I listened to Fact Checker, yeah. but, you know. I but just love that said, everything that you're doing doesn't require reading. I love that. I know it does. Ah. It does. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Hey. The day you tested me, try. <laughs> what agency you worked for there? Um, I worked for... Ooh. Okay. Let's not make sure of this one. Ah, no, proximity. Today. Proximity. Hey. Yes. Mm. Yes. Way, way back, guys. Way back. That's where I did drugs. No, I ain't. <laughs> I ain't. Hey, 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 hey. That's how I mentioned the one that I, I think they even closed. I think. Oh, tell yeah. us that they've closed. No, no, I'm just saying that. I don't want to mention the other one where, hey, it's still alive. Hey, 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 Simpi, where, where did you work? Before kicking. you did sound, what were you doing? Where, where did you work? Um, as a student, I, I did promotions also. Oh, hey, promotions is a big thing, eh? Oh, yeah. when you're a student, they're big, yeah. yeah. Wow, promotions man. are big. Um, yeah, and then from there after, it was just e studio and live TV. Um, yeah, so... Um, Tabang went straight from high school to here, so you can't... <laughs> For real? Yeah. How old is Tabang? He graduated oh, yeah, here. How old are you, bro? <laughs> Oh, oh, fuck no. shit, you old Didn't now, go dog. from studio to here. I mean, a matric to here. Oh, when I met him, was like 20, bro. Exactly. Five lifetimes already. Tabang, 26. Remember, it was like four years ago. He was still young. He was still young, bro. He was like bro. 22 when we oh, met him. Oh, okay, fair enough. Mel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they also you graduated f- here. <laughs> <laughs> In these yeah, bro. What, what jobs did you do? Jobs? Mm. Ah, bro, I didn't work much, man. I mean, during my uh, university days, I was doing black market, you know. Black market. Black market. So selling stolen laptops, not stolen, stolen laptops, and stolen textbooks. Not stolen. <laughs> so why steal. is it black in the market? Well, because it's not official. I mean, you know, it's it's like 
I know some. I know where to get that book. I know where to get that laptop. So yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah, come yeah. To me, yeah. you don't know. You don't have the receipt, but you know <laughs> you can get the laptop. It doesn't have a receipt. You know, it doesn't so, yeah. have. A, it, it so says then, put in password, but hey. <laughs> no, no, no. The laptop is fine. The laptop is <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't have a password. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> they can come and vouch for you. Yeah. So um, in terms of jobs. I only worked because I was doing practicals for, for my course at nice. CSIR. Yeah. At, um, uh, what was it? M- military Operations. Yeah. Military? It's the name of the company. So we're oh. designing. <laughs> hey, Mac. <laughs> military. <laughs> designing um, uh, lenses for, oh, I even forgot these things. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah, yeah. designing lenses for, 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 for military you know, yeah, yeah uh, uh, equipment and stuff. Shit, man, you guys have. You also fought for fees. Don't forget that. One. That's yeah. that's yeah. Yeah, that's a big like top job. Though, right? <laughs> 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 also fought for fees, though, man. <laughs> uh, you guys have lived, man. Anyway, yeah. and now, what do you mean, hey, ladies and gentlemen? So we are back. So Pendukas, yes, yeah, Tibblers, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ghost Lady is here, Tabang is here, Dudu is here, Tato is here, uh, Neo, Mr. Black Market is here. Hey. <laughs> Petrol <laughs> bomb maker. Also, you forgot that job as well. <laughs> Fat check is here, SMP is here. My talk, what do you want to start, man? What do you want to talk about, man? What did everybody else do? What? Dude, what did you what did you work before? She was at uh, a radio station. Oh yeah, Cassie FM. Uh, Cassie FM. Yes. Paul oh. what are there? Yes, yes. Paul is a program manager, a friend of mine. Yeah, she was at uh, Cassie FM. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Now worked in the church, it's that's church, Tato, right? Tato, yeah. Oh, okay. What what did he say? I didn't hear him. Sportsman! Oh, oh shit. You're working on Sportsman's Warehouse. Sportsman's Warehouse. Forenzai, Sales consultant. Voting some cricket. No, I mean, you were selling. Helping people fit their shoes. You were selling hockey sticks and cricket bats. <laughs> were you selling cricket bats and hockey sticks? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Tato Betwell, Moho. Hey, shout out, bro. Man, it's because we're no more shy shy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For real? He will yeah. hype you and make you buy a shoe that doesn't even look good on you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Where do you want to start, my dog? Yeah, what should a lot has happened, man. Hey? Yeah. No, not a lot. What happened this week? I'm curious how I don't you know feel. where to start, man. So much has happened. I'm confused already. Remember when we ended the show last week? Oh yeah, on Thursday, on yes. On Thursday. And there was a story that we were trying to tell you about. And you when we explained it to you, you said, ah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that video. Yeah. No uh, one send my daughter in. That video, yeah? <laughs> oh yes, yes. Please explain. Please, please uh, give context to the chillers. Yeah, okay. what video is this? So guys, um we Deleted that part because I think it was, uh, yeah, we were finishing the show already. Yes. We had just run out of time. Mm. And it was Historisa Nozipo. Yes. She is um, one of the cast members. We, Mummy Club. Yes. And now uh, there was a, a video circulating over the week and there was a confrontation she was having with her husband. And this in this video, basically, the kids and um, are begging for their father not to leave. And... Like eight kids, but eight kids, eight kids. So they got we were married couple who have had like we used to even do that YouTube together yeah. and just talk about their marriage and um with um having kids and just having a blended family. I think that was also another th- um thing that I watched them. So now in this video you see this altercation happening. The kids are begging their dad. I think he wants to he wanted to leave, and he's basically just declining and saying that you know what I'm no longer I'm no longer respected in this home. I'm out and even yet small little kids with the, yeah, having a sad, bottle man. being like baba you know so <laughs> Saul's opinion on that when we told him about it and he allegedly thought, he's got a side chick yes yes, yes. and whom is it's, uh, that he's getting married because he's, he's going to make her a uh, second wife second wife yeah now um, when we told Saul about the story Saul that time said that I it sounded like yeah this yeah, is just yeah because you know you can't trust promote, this reality TV yeah, people yeah trying to promote the reality show and yeah, stuff so yeah, yeah. You are of that, like... Do you still um, feel the same? Before the seeing same. the video. Yes, yes, Do yeah. you feel the same after seeing the video? Because mm, there were kids, you know, involved, like really young kids. I don't think anyone would stoop that low to to create that kind of drama falsely just for uh, uh, ramping up views for their show. So, yeah. no, I've changed my mind. Mm, yeah. You saved you, ne? <laughs> well... 
Not really, because <laughs> not really, not, not really, because really, I, I did explain that I haven't seen the video, but yeah. it sounds like mm -hmm. you know, because you, yeah, I mean, we've seen a lot of times where these reality TV people, you know, create stuff and scenarios. To but try the, sto and push the story that was TV going show. around is that uh, a lot of people were saying that they feel like um, the the side chick used Mooty on 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 the guy, like the way he's acting is just so bizarre, you know, which kind of makes sense. I mean. You can separate a man from his woman, that's easy to do. But a man from his kids, like, that takes a lot, you know? Mm. That's foul, man. Eh? Do, do women really use Muti to get a lover, man? Like, or take someone away from their home? Oh, that is, dog, it's tough, cool, tough, dog. Are you it's for tough, real? Oh, it's tough, that dog. Is like, hey, in Cyril's economy, hey, it's tough, dog. Things are bad out there, bro. That is foul, man. Like, bro, if imagine you meet this guy, he looks, uh, he's got soft life, money, whatever. Are you not gonna do whatever it takes to keep him? Not whatever it takes, cause like, okay, if you really love him, do you really wanna detach him from his children? She doesn't care. Those are not his kids. Her kids. She doesn't care. But they are kids, and they need a father. Mm. And are, are you proudly gonna be responsible and walk? With your head high, walk tall, knowing that you've like detached a father, severed ties of a father from his children. Ah, oh, crazier things have happened. Though. But honestly, before that happens, I feel like there, there was okay. If that is would be have been true, the first person. It's because it's not like this woman just decides to concord this thing and like, oh, okay, fall in love with me. Concord. <laughs> concord, eh? Concord. What is that? What language is Java? What is it? It's it HTML. Hey. HTML, yay! <laughs> <laughs> I speak coding. Yeah. No, okay. So before we put it on the woman and say like, yeah, just, but he had to open the door for that. As in Ooh. you approached, you said, I love you. Exactly. Exactly. He was not just like, he tripped and all of a sudden he's now in this state of like, oh, I've, I've neglected. There's something that he did. He's probably was eyeing. He, his eyes were already out. You're no longer focused on your marriage. And therefore, you found someone. So if that happens, it's still on you. That's true. We have our man's Indian. He opened the door. He brought a third party in. Yes. Mm. As much as we can say, maybe she used Mooty, it's fucked up and stuff. But you're right. Um, exactly. Hey, the small kids killed me, man. Oh, that was man. sad, man. They're like, Daddy, Daddy, where you going? Daddy, Daddy. Hey, man. That's messed up. I know messed during up. the week, I was having a conversation with my other married friends. And mm. we're like, yo, if this person is able to say, not even care for his eight children. How mm. about us with like one or two or three mm. kids? You know what I mean? Not that it's taking it personal, making like as if, oh, this is what happened. Mm -hmm. But it's just that thing of like, yo, because obviously being touched about, you've got all these kids and they're the ones even begging you and, you, and you're just, but also pause. Mm. Another thing is that, you remember I've said it previously, like until you hear the full story. Because uh, also in this, yeah. con, in this, um, what you see, this uh, the video, is this the guy saying, um, declining the, having this um, to talk. So obviously it looks like, yes, the intervention. So it, it obviously looks like, oh my God, what happened? We don't know what happened after mm. and we don't know what happened before. Mm. So it's easy mm. to judge the situation and obviously take it to some magnitude. Hi, this is what it means. We don't know until you sit down with both everybody. And, hey, but and it was cut with, full, eh? He was. Yeah, look, no, I mean, he was. was. telling his son, we know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> we know what yeah, I mean. Exactly. Yeah, and also some of the language yeah. when that was used there and, and yeah, in front of kids. Because yeah. the video starts when he wants to take the car. Yeah. But there's only one car and she's using it to take the kids mm -hmm. to school. And the following day was a school day. day yeah. You know, and I feel like as adults, he just could have just spoken to her. Uber. As yes. and, yeah, Uber. Because it doesn't sound like she and was stopping him from leaving. And also, is there only one car? Because I feel like they are well off family. They are. It's a nice, so, beautiful home. Yeah. Eight kids, so they, they are. Well, they are really, no. They're definitely well off family. And I think there's yeah. a, there's was a number of cars. I'm sure. But like now, nah, maybe on, on on maybe that day there was one car that was working. Okay. Because okay. I don't think you should say don't take the car. I'm gonna use it to take the kids. You know. But I feel like they could have just resolved this shit on their own. Mm. SID and stuff. Has anyone been following the Lakao story, man? I saw he owes twenty million. What's going on there, bro? Is that? 
I feel like I've seen that before. Yeah, yeah. But it made stories today, ne? It did. It made stories today. He made his business. Yeah, the business drip. The business drip, yeah. So oh. he was Ghost a perfect... Um, Look like a ghost lady. Fact check, what's going on? Yeah. You got some facts for us then? Yeah. Um, according to News 24 and briefly, Legal owes an an advertising agency 20 million. Jeez. Oh, for yeah. all those billboards we'll see. For all those billboards. Yeah, so... That trip along the M1 and stuff. Apparently, they are going to be going to court. The company is requesting that Legao liquidates his company mm. in order to pay them back. Mm. There was an agreement beforehand for him to pay it via installments. However, he wasn't able to meet those obligations. So they want she him to liquidate. Yeah. But how do you have uh, billboards without paying? Isn't it upfront? Don't you pay upfront? Nah, sometimes maybe not. It depends, oh. but if you can strike that kind of deal, yeah. it's like with some stuff, you know, if you can get stock on consignment from oh, the yeah, manufacturer, yeah. Good, 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 good. sell, and then, you know what I mean? Yeah. But for me, it's like, dude, it's business. It happens every day. Companies mm. get liquidated. Guys lose money. Companies get liquidated and then come back up. It's a gamble it took, right? He was like, let me let me go on this billboard spree and advertise and push, and hopefully I'm going to get a return on my investment through sales. And maybe that didn't happen. I don't I don't know. Maybe COVID happened. Was this before, after COVID? A lot of things could have happened. It's business, man. You know, you you, you gamble. We are popa, our popi. But shout out to him, man, for, you know, managing that feat to begin with, you know? Like, it's business. It happens. Companies get liquidated every day. People mm. shut down companies, open another one. It's successful. I, I think it's part of success in the journey as well. What do you think before I cut you off, Ghost Lady? Uh, no, I don't know. Oh, I thought you were saying something. What do you think make of it, that story? I don't know, man. Like, hey, 20 million, that's a lot for advertising, dog. But also, I think it's with interest now, possibly. I feel like he's just trying to uh, liquidate the company to start afresh. Because remember, the drip company is tied in with his uh, ex or ex-wife. Oh, yeah. Uh, Tato used to work there. He must tell us. Tato. <laughs> is the company uh, tied to the wife, ne? To be honest, Mac, I really don't know, dog. Now I was just waking up. <laughs> As a salesman. Anything else, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No comment. No comment. <laughs> the focus, the one. Yeah, because he's starting a new brand, if you, if you check. Like, I think they rebranded, even they changed the logo and all that stuff. But the company does owe that money, though. Yeah. Like, I get what you mean, because it started with the wife, but also, and I think, what what are you saying? He's letting it fail. Yes. He's not trying to rescue the company. Yes. Oh, yeah, yes. so the debt is real. Yes. But he's letting, uh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense, because there was drama with the ex-wife, yes. and that's a smart way of doing things. Yeah. Because the company's an entity on its own, you know, and if the wife had shares there, and he makes it a success, she's sitting at home. And just claiming the proceeds, mm. you know. So mm. that's a smart way to go about it. Yeah. Especially if she's not pulling her weight and he's the only one doing the work. Yeah. I don't know if you saw this. It's a very sad story, man. But I want to tell you guys about this. So there's a video making the rounds on social media. In the video, a young black woman confesses that she was involved in getting over 300 girls human trafficked. Mm. She was recruited by a foreign national she was dating who later forced her to have sex with his business associates to gain favor for his business. Her stepfather got killed by the said boyfriend in the presence of her mom and they never reported it. Like, how sick is that, bro? Hate poverty, man, you know? Like, literally. I mean, how does your stepfather get killed in front of uh, the, the, his partner, that's her mom, and the stepchild, mm. and then, you know, all because of the guy who killed is bringing in money at home. You mm. know what I mean? And that's why I'm saying I hate poverty. And all these girls who got prostituted and subsequently human trafficked, they mm. were all coming from... You know, homes that didn't have much, I'm assuming. Mm, mm. They were trying to earn, they were trying to, even though some, honestly speaking, blow the money on stupid things, you know, it doesn't really uplift their home or their families, but it all derives from the fact that they're from a poor background. What's and up they with did this, this for money. What's up with this human trafficking thing, man? I've never understood that, bro. Like, like is there money in that shit? It's, like, yeah, it's sex trafficking, bro. Yeah. You know? Like it's big all over the world, eh? Yeah, it's big, bro. World. People love want sex slaves and the younger the better. Yeah. It's a sick world out there, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. 
Jeez, man, sick terrible. world. Hence, we always get concerned when even just someone is missing. It's already, the thought is like, have they been trafficked? I mean, that's just five year old who's yeah. still missing that, uh, uh, in, in the Cape, the Eastern Cape. Yeah. Is it Western Cape or Eastern Cape? The colored Jocelyn, yeah, right? Jocelyn. Yeah, that yeah. poor girl, bro. God knows where she is right now. That's yeah, terrible, is she, well, man. It's, it's, and the family is involved. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah, and so long as there's a fucking demand for this stuff, that's where the problem is, you know? Mm, mm. Let's start with the demand. Yeah. Where is it? And find these people who derive pleasure from the ritual killings of, yes. of young people and drinking the blood of oh. them and, oh. and, and, and the rapes oh. and, you know, feeling like you need to own a human. We need mm. to deal with that first. Yeah. Like, who it's are these people? Up. You yeah, know, who are the buyers? Speedini. Speedini and these rappers. <laughs> Anyway. Talking about Didi, you know now, if uh, you say no homo, you say no Didi. Ah, for real? Yeah, Is that a thing, thing now? It's yeah. a thing now, bro. Yeah. No Didi. No Didi. Yeah. Like, yo, no Didi. It's a thing, bro. It's a thing. What you got for us, Ghost Lady, man? Okay, Thanks. so there's a story about oh, Denise Simba. Denise! Hey, yeah, Denise! Denise. Wow, what is she up to, man? Well, the story is that um, she has left her man, who is white. Hey, they look so happy on Instagram and everyone now. <laughs> So um, it's not known yet if he cheated or what. Okay, so another... Is White big, niggas cheat. Uh, this is this. this uh, is, okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, so, <laughs> nah, it says cheat, all the former eight girls... Can talk from experience, though? Ah, White niggas cheat, man. <laughs> Remember, uh, Juster, Juster. Juster from the West Asian, was it? The rugby player, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Springboks, mm. who's may so rest in peace. He was caught in 4K on camera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with another girl, remember? Even yeah, Juster. Ma- Matthew Booth as well? Matthew Booth, yeah. exactly. He was caught red-handed as well. Yeah. Um, he even baked the cake, fuck. <laughs> remember? He even, no, he even baked the cake. <laughs> the day before his son's birthday, he <laughs> took the cake to the ex. <laughs> I want to say that you see it. So yeah, that's just a spanner. You can't remember your Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You start? Yeah, you start from the best days. The late, so he's a late springbok. He, he was, he cheated. He cheated, right? Yeah, he cheated on his wife. What you think? She was a TV presenter, Bill Clinton, yeah? Clinton, guys. Huh? Bill Clinton. I Ooh. never had sexual relations with that woman. woman. Oh. Bill Clinton got a blowjob from Monica Lewinsky, bro. Yep. Gangster. Gangster. <laughs> hey, what do you think about this Marcus Houston thing? Uh, the yeah, billionaire. The oh, come on. Did you see the, pl- the, the scene of the suicide? Uh-uh. Firstly, we're told that this guy is arrested at home. Then later it says he got arrested. Uh, um, no, he got he committed suicide. Okay, no, at first we're told he committed suicide at home yeah, he while shot he himself. was getting arrested. Mm. Right? Then we were told it was by the beach at like 3 p.m. and no one's... It saw him, the only people who saw him were the officers who were trying to arrest him. And then we saw the 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 scene. The blood, it's like, it reminds me of Kankalak's bomb. Remember the <laughs> bomb that went off outside Kabul Kankalax, <laughs> right? Where it's just a small onion hole. <laughs> and then, then it's like, this, not even in Kuk, man. The blood is like, ah, oh, come on, guys. A billionaire dies, commits suicide in public. Yeah. No one sees it. There's no picture of it. The blood that's there. The guy shot himself in the head. Mm. Yet the blood is like minimal. It's like just a, it's not even a puddle, bro. It's like magic suli and like for like in a small and circle of a thirty centimeter radius. And then you you believe this guy killed himself a whole billionaire. Let me find ah, the story, man. We've yeah. seen this movie it's, before. Yeah, man. we've seen it with Kevin Watson. Kevin Watson. We've Ocibu seen Sasa, it with yeah. um. Who else? Who else? Died and the guess Soli Aguti, they're gone. Uh, the guy who got shot hijacking of Melrose Arch. There was also a very. Yeah, come but on. But the story man. says it has been reported that Marcus Eusta of Stainhoff Gate shot himself upon realizing he was about to get arrested. Oh. Of course, we've seen this movie before where Gavin Watson of Busasa yeah. pulled a similar stunt and nobody Come believes he actually died just before being arrested for his Busasa scandal uh, with hundreds of billions. The disgraced fraudster CEO of Steinhoff was also hit with a 475 million 
Rand Fine. Yeah. Jeez, man. Or the FSCA. Mm-mm. So it's probably at a, 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 in a private island somewhere, somewhere with yeah. Gavin having pina coladas. <laughs> you know, come on, the guy didn't. He's not dead, guys. Yeah. Marcus Justa is not dead. He's not dead. But how do they get away with this shit, dog? Because really? it's plain to see, bro. Hmm? It's plain to see. It is. But when you've got the money and you've got a willing recipient, you know, who's gonna say, I'm gonna look away. Yeah, we're gonna help you get out the country. How much you have for me? Oh, 20 million, I'll take it. Mm. You know what I mean? Dude, we live in one of, one of the most corrupt countries, like, out there. Yeah. Mm. Like, honestly, everyone is for sale. You can buy anyone and anything. You know, you'll never see the inside of a cell if you're a billionaire. Show me one billionaire who's arrested in South Africa. Mm-hmm. One. Mm-hmm. For anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Come That's on. true, actually. And, you know, come on, bro. What happened to that guy, man? Uh, there was a guy during our times, man. He was very big. Like, he started the whole Tinder thing. Uh, fuck, he used to drive an X5, man. And it was like... Who? Amazing at that time. Um, the Tinder thing. Yeah. yeah, man. Do you know him? Ah, Fuck. Not so Kesna. Nah, no, so like, Kesna was not into Tinder. He got arrested, man. Ah, fuck. Who? Tony. Tony again. No, man. He was. He's a politician. He's, he got out. He got arrested for corruption, right? But he got out. Yeah, yeah. Tony yeah. again. Tony. Yeah, he, he got out. He's been out ages ago. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. He got out. Anyway, so uh, you're saying, yeah, white people are uh, cheating? Mm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no, no. I was going to mention all the other um, former IT girls that will also um, have left their, well, have been left or left their men who were white. Uh, like Paul Modiadi, Techies. Wait, man, uh, wait, 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 wait. Paul left a black guy. Um, is right, I believe. She's, she's still with the white open eye, my guy. Who? No, 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 they broke up. They broke up. Hey! Oh, it's an old story, dog. Oh, bro, yeah. no. Yeah. Keep up with Pearl, man. <laughs> Jeez, for real. Yeah. Oh, bro. Yeah. So yeah. real. Because yeah. I know she was about to get married to that guy with some taco, a black guy. Tilly's, I think, his surname. True story, ne? Are you checking? She yeah, broke up checking. with the Oppenheimer. Mm. Mm. Damn. Well, they but they have a Lloyd? child, right? Yeah, they have a child. Oh, yeah, they have a kid. Oh, man, no. Jeez, what's Pearl doing right now? Muriel. Hey. Also, Pabi Molloy as well is also on the list. Obviously, Pabi. Sonia Boone. Oh, yeah, that guy, is the, that guy has the, got a whole court thing going on. <laughs> the guy's accusing, because he wants half of a estate. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. How do you feel about a man who wants half of the nah, woman's estate? That, that's, that's like, that's childish. He, he wants half of the estate and he wants 8,500 rands in spousal support. No, man. From where's Pabi Molloy. Where's your dignity as a Bro, man? Bro, as a man, right? It's been this ego, yeah. But yeah. that's what Minnie's uh, ex as well, also, right? Also, yeah. Quentin, he also wants special support, Baba. Bye. Niggas are up, boy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they want support. <laughs> I know. Nah, guys. Maybe you're just not in the, if you've been put in that situation. But think about it. Like, uh, yeah, because... Like, but if I'm not next, if I'm not next, and then I'm you, you start again. Again. You, you start again. You're you, a man, no. dog. But my, my, what if I'm getting there? Like, who want to next? Who are you petting? Exactly. Ah, my man. You DJ. You do whatever, my man. <laughs> 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 it's easy for you to say that. Just uh, putting yourself like in the I shoes know, of someone never. who says, "Hey, <laughs> you were taking care of me, so continue." You know. Nah, my dignity. Yeah, because you used to live soft. In this world of live... 50 50 guys. Yeah, I mean... you used to live soft, drive these cars and stuff, and now you're gonna go back to just Jay. I rather. Park town. I rather. I rather do no ah, but <laughs> There's a lot of men who have benefited from, you know, when the law says, you know what? Yes, you as the ex-wife, you, you know, qualify. You qualify, you know, and get the money. And they are living soft. Yeah, as a woman, you understand. No, not as a woman. I'm saying as a man but who's living soft because of that. Nah. Bro. They have to, you know, in the States especially, you hear it a lot, mm. you know, where, you know, because Jeff of, Bezos' wife. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the woman. It's always applauded when it's for the woman. Oh, yeah, I'm just talking woman. the case where, oh, yeah. where it's men, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary J. Blige was one of, like, she's... Oh, yeah, Mary J., yeah. Ex-husband. Her ex yeah, wants to You know, I've heard a lot. Like, a lot of people. Nah, I can't. Yes. I can't. They get it's you. fine. I'll move in with some people. <laughs> <laughs> and be DJ BJ. <laughs> I'll be your road manager, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what else you got for us, Ghost Lady? Um, 
Um, guys, did you hear the story of Kate Middleton? Yeah, I heard it. You heard it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And okay, so where it started was that there was a because people haven't heard from her for a while, and there was and speculation seen her, yeah. and seen her and just like what's going on because she wasn't even doing her princess duties, you know, that obviously assigned to do as a family. And now, because basically she had gone for like a operation in I think January, an abdominal surgery. Okay. Okay, and later, so now because of the absence, just not seeing her, there was a picture that came out, and obviously people questioned, and it looked very like as if she was photoshopped on the picture. She was, it's confirmed. You know? it was. Oh, it's confirmed even. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so she was photoshopped because I think they were trying to squash the where is Kate, where is Kate, and then they released this picture. Where, yeah. So obviously it just caused a lot more questioning, only to find out basically fast forward. Now we're at a switch. She finally came out and said. Yo, um, she's actually been diagnosed with cancer. Oh, it's actually quite a CR. Yeah. So the, she was made a Damn. mockery of during the whole week, and it was a whole story. Because at some point they said that she's dead. She was, or maybe um, it was uh, the the William is cheating on her. It was just a lot of things. Hey man, how's how's the king? Doesn't he have cancer as well? Yeah, he also does. In yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. He's got cancer. The, yeah, so. She's got cancer. It's crazy, bro. Yeah. Jeez, kind of, what kind of cancer? No, she's not confirmed. So Jeez. there's always a whole speculation yeah, again confirm. of which cancer she, she young, though, bro. Yeah. Nah, she looks frail. Shame yeah, she video. does. Yeah, yes. on videos. She looks like very now, frail. when you shame, actually look man. at her, it's like, whoa, shame, man. And it sucks being in the royal family <gasps> because. She now had to come out and answer to people because people were speculating. Yes. Obviously, William is, is 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 said to have cheated before, yep. mm. and now that his dad has got cancer, he could obviously as he will definitely ascend at some point to being king if nothing happens mm. to him. But you know, it looks like it may be sooner, it may be sooner. than later. Because yeah. did you see Russia? So Russia's uh, news agency owned by the government came out and said, Charles is dead. Charles is dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they reported that Charles is dead. And then <laughs> and, and, uh, the royal family responded with the following day, a few days later, with Charles in a car in the back seat, proof of life that he isn't. Oh, Poor guy, shit. man. You know, he waited so long to be king and then soon he becomes king. Bro, uh, cancer. 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 <laughs> Yo. But he's not like... Because his dad, Philip, a yeah. Prince Philip, never really... Do you watch The Crown? Yeah, yeah The yeah. Crown. Yeah, he was never really a fan of him. You know what I mean? He's like, he's just... He was a timid young boy. And even in his big age, he never felt like he's made... He, like, he's got what it takes to be a king. Mm. You know, he's cut from that cloth. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I don't think he'll be missed, mm. you know, mm. uh, if that does happen. Yeah, because he even his family wasn't is not like yeah he's gonna be a great king kind of mm, thing you mm. know what I mean but yeah so sad man I don't know what's happening with that family but I just feel for Kate because now she had to come out because mm. people were making all these speculations and shit what sucks man being in that family because now it's like you're living for people oh no but you you know the the media the UK media is constantly nah, just, man, just she's got cancer guys Let her... it feels like it's a prison him. being in the royal family oh no it is oh yeah yeah. yeah. Someone said that uh, in, in The Crown, yeah. uh, 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 that it's a prison. I think it was Philip or something. Yeah. It, it is, bro. Everything is for but people. You watched The Crown. Philip was cheating, me. Oh, of course. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember the Queen found um, that picture? Of course he was, dog. Of course. Of course. Uh... Nah, Philip definitely cheated, bro. Big time. It was, I think I feel for him it was maybe a way just to escape the whole, the prison element. Yeah. Just yeah. to feel free. Yeah. To be like free. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Is that what it's called now? It's called escaping. Uh, eh, eh, eh. No. It's not allowed. It's wrong. It is wrong. Escape. It's ah. wrong. Pela, go, let him escape, you know. Oh, shit. As as I tell you, can I give you an update about Mike? Uh, remember? Oh yeah, Mike. Remember we uh, 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 we called him on the show. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think two weeks or three mm -hmm. weeks back, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the woman that um, uh, he was getting a divorce with. Yes. Watched the show and she signed the papers that week. Oh, so we helped him divorce. Yeah. Oh wow. So oh. wow. Yeah, she finally signed so after that it? episode. Just like I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, think that's wow. a good thing. I don't know if I wear my celebrated yeah, divorce. Yeah, he's so. happy. He's happy. What do you mean? She's happy too, right? Yeah. Let me celebrate. He's, is oh. he happy as well? People happy. Oh, okay. okay. He's on fire. He, he, uh, he wants up some more. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> man, no, man, this is Mike. Mike's kitchen. Ma Mike's better throw a divorce party. You know the divorce parties. Not yeah, for real. Yeah. There's parties. divorce parties now. So this is Mike. He says, sometimes you got to be like, okay, and leave that shit alone. 
okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here's another one. You can't fix relationship every day. Pumani abanye bangene. Hmm. Hey, nigga, want your chance? Wow, nigga, want your chance? Okay. Nigga, want your chance? I like. I'm, you guys I agree like, with that? I like this for my. Yeah, don't force it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't force things. Yeah. Yeah. Don't wow. overstay. I want your bank here in the swim, man. Oh, don't stay in the pool now. <laughs> uh, he goes. A woman with a small circle. Are very determined and ambitious, hardworking and independent women. And they tight women with small circles. You agree with that, ghost lady? Yes, I agree with that. You got a small circle, no? Oh. Oh mama. Oh mama. Oh mama. Oh mama. Hey. When, when did you see a circle? I get, no. I get Max question. Are you in a, are you, are you in a circle? circle of friends? Ah. Are you in a circle? No, it's like a small. <laughs> you are in a circle. Hey. I have a small is circle. He, is he no. in your circle? <laughs> yes, it's actually. <laughs> hey. He's in my circle of friends. Don't I have a small that. circle Don't of friends. Do yes. Don't do Max, that. Max, <laughs> Max, you my second. <laughs> <laughs> like it's in, it's in my, my small circle of friends. Oh, yeah? You, you remind me of my daughter. She just learned how to say, um, don't do that. Ooh. So the other day I stole like um, a juice of hers because I was dashing. So I took oh, her thanks. juice. And then she's like, auntie, tell him, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> oh, because she gets told a lot. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> ah, Nick. <laughs> so, so don't Dash, do that. I, got you <laughs> uh, I was out of Dash, guys. What was I doing? <laughs> I was out of Dash. Oh, Dash, I'm not Yeah, so you agree with him? I agree with you, yes. With Mike, no? Mike. Yes, mm. I agree. I agree. Like, okay, it's ev everyone's circle is different, but at the end of the day, yeah. Keep a, a, a small circle of friends, just. Just for, for peace. And, and if you've got a big circle, try and <laughs> get it smaller. Yeah. It's, it's always the best way, you know, to manage. You know, as you grow older, like there's just a lot of things that you have to, you know, that just take your, your mind. What, you are, know, what tips would you give, like uh, getting your circle smaller? What, how, like, no, what kind of must... techniques do you use? <laughs> techniques? <laughs> yeah, of getting your circle tight and small. First of all, it's choosing the right friends, you know. Oh, I'm an Isa Mackey. How do they help? <laughs> I'm an Isa Mackey. I'm an Isa Mackey. <laughs> oh, I think Tato has been using Mackey. She has a lot of anxiety. I have seven. I'm going to check. I have seven of my ice. I'm an Isa. <laughs> Do you use ice on your circle? In your circle? Honestly, Do you use on the circle, in the circle? Honestly, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Yo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who's your best friend, ghost lady? Who's my best friend? Mm. Um, she's really my best friend. Who's your best friend, ghost lady? Who's my best friend? Ah, she's remains anonymous. <laughs> mm. I've got friends. Do you so, have though? I do. I feel like I feel like it's fine not to have a best friend. Like you don't necessarily need to have a best friend. No, you got it, man. What, what kind of life is that, man? What do you mean? You gotta have a best friend, don't you? We're not seven, bro. <laughs> like your best friend. You have a favorite color while you're at it. <laughs> Fuck your girl. Best friend. It's it's beautiful to have a best friend, but it's also who's your okay, best friend? I don't have best best. Uh. I got very close friends, but I don't have best best like. Best friend, you know? Mm -hmm. I used to have a best friend, but we... we, we grew apart. We grew apart. Mm -hmm. You know, life happened. We grew apart. We're still homies. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, we we still could, you mm -hmm. know? But I don't have, man, like, best, best, best friend. Like It'd be dope to do a podcast with, like, our best friends, eh? Ooh. Yeah. yeah Who's your best friend? I got a lot, man. It's Murishi, Jigga, uh, Dumelo. Your circle is big. No, no, no. It's just five of us. Okay. Jega Dumelo, Mudishe. Tiro. Tiro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very. Yeah. Cat Master. Yeah, and Cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, after thought. Yo! Hey, poor Cat Master. 
No, I, I went to high school yeah. with the other guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You met up, yeah, with yeah the other I went guys. to high school. Catch so we've been you friends met since. Much later. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. So we've man. been friends since, man. We've been friends since. Right, and your circle sense. goes, lady? No, my circle is just um, my friend, my best friend, whom I just. Would you like that, dude? A podcast with our best friends, ne? Yeah. Or is that boring for you? Yeah. <laughs> or you don't like. Not too My much. friend chats like she's she's for you the. You can chats. workshop it, yeah. okay? Oh, work work a whole workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your best friend? You have a best friend? I do. Do do. You got a best friend. <laughs> <laughs> For real, dude. How do I do? It's From Vegas. Like, oh, beautiful man. Let, let's call your best friend. It's Pierre. What's up? Hey, hey, mama, the lava. Come and join us again. We're gonna do it. Bring it. Come and join us. Hey, no man, come on. No, no just what, call, what call, call, call. Okay. Call and then uh, put on the uh, mic. Uh, go, lady. Put on the mic. Then let's try, let's talk to dude's best friend. <laughs> Eh? Singa connectila? Yeah. Yeah, ask connectila. Give us the phone. It's connecting a broadcast. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. darling. Hi, how are you, darling? What's your name? I'm good. How are you? Good, man. You're live on the podcast, man. <laughs> Saul Pinduka is hey, here. Ghost Lady is here, man. Hi, Palisa. Palisa. You. Hello, everybody. Hi, guys. Happy Sunday. Yeah, so, so Dudu says you guys are best friends, man. How, how best are you friends? Mm. What do you do? Yo, we were friends since high school. Wow. Oh, since wow. high school. Wow. Dudu's yeah. a bit feisty. She's feisty, Dudu, ne? She's feisty, but it comes from a good place. Oh, beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Do you know her yeah, type? it comes what, what, from a very, very good place. What's Dudu's type? <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, Dudu, I'm going to get it. Wow. She likes she the rough, ne? Men who can think. No, no, no. You must be able to think. Like, unga bangele. Like, unna Okay. Yeah, people who are considerate. Because she's very generous and considerate. And she's very fragile emotionally, but she hides it. And she wants somebody who's not going to make her hide herself all the time. Mm. She doesn't want to hide any longer, guys. This. Come on. She's out of the closet. She's not hiding. Mm. She's out of the closet. We all know. Yeah, really. well. Have you, have you guys kissed? Have you guys kissed? Wow. Have you guys kissed? No. Have you made out? Have you made no. out? Hmm? Has she no, tried? No, though? we haven't. That's my sister. That's my sister, though. Hi, Bo. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Yeah, that's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? You, you, you know you call the best friend, you know. I think we need to reflect because I also, you know, we're all part of the problem because also we need to reflect, man, because, you know, we didn't, we didn't ask and we weren't going to ask Ghost Lady's best friend that, you know what I mean? But yeah. I think it's just a funny observation. Yeah. yeah. We need to really be honest, yeah, because yeah. now I was like, has she, has she tried? Yeah. And I also wanted to know, though, you know. Yeah. Man, like, like maybe she, they have a pass. Yeah, we sleep over. We are seeing his hunger's hand, but she, you know, he, 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 hey, he, Palace, have you guys ever, ever, ever fought for a man? Oh, you hung oh, up. Oh, up. Oh, man. Have you, have you, she though? sounds like cool people. Have you ever guys uh, fought for a man? Oh, no. She says A woman? No. Oh, God. Just wow. Imagine. It's Palace, bye. <laughs> Oh. What? Hey. <laughs> say it, say it. Why would Palace be bi? It's press of a feather. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, she oh, asked yeah. if Palace bi. I'm like, why would she be bi now? Because <laughs> no, um, maybe you'd want to. But, but your, it's a fair question because yeah, a lot of gay guys tend to, to be friends, friends with gay guys. guys. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Right, my dog, anything you want to talk about, my dog? There's a song, bro. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look out for it. Bandros with Kelvin Momo. Uh, it's called um, Wamberong. Mm. Chigi, 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 chigi. Uh, when you have a, I didn't see the videos flying around. Mm -mm. Okay, but I'm plugging. Is it, is it Bandros, released? Kelvin Momo. I'm not sure who's on the vocals. No, it's not yet released. But I've got the exclusive, obviously. Is this your uh, Zex Bantuini Imali moment? Ooh. Remember, he's the one who... He, yeah. Stuff like this. Remember? Hey, as a, with piano, bro, it's so crazy because 
I wanted. To, I had a moment like that, but with myself, with uh, Sfazo, for example, Ivula Zulu, Bao Vula, Bao. But it didn't really do the things like it was supposed to, and it's such a beautiful song. Mm. So with piano, it's so difficult, man. I don't know what it takes because I need a people, TikTok challenge, bro. But that's not even. Caught Gangani on TikTok. It's so oh. it's such a wild that thing was spoiled for choice. Because mm. with Zayx, it was so different, right? Yes, yes. Because yes. of and also the genre itself. But with piano, it's like, damn, bro. Mm. You know, it's 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 like Amalobolo, the song. It's gonna be as big as probably Amalobolo by 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 Kevin Momo. Because Monday to Sunday is killing it now. Monday to Sunday. Ah, it's killing Which it. Which one is Monday to Sunday? Monday to Sunday. Na, 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 na. Wait. Monday, Sunday. There's a song of a Monday to wait, 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 wait. Meg. Wait, there's a song of a Monday to Friday part. No, there there's is. There's a Monday to Friday. There Monday is Monday to, to Friday. Sunday. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. Oh, but it's so Chalabam. Yeah, that one. You went that far, Meg? Wow. Monday yeah, Chalabam is big even in the, in the US. It won't be that big. I don't think so, you know, because it's not like. It's a, hey! it's a deep, it's a, um... Look who's calling. Who? The guy who fired me at YFM. Who found you? Fired me. Dumelo. Dumelo, Dio. Yeah. Oh, shout out, going. bro. Shay, man, you just hey, spamming. King. How are you, my man? Hey, man, long time, man. You're live on the podcast, man. Sol is here, Ghost Lady is here, man. Hey, Tata Munayeng, Dio. Hi, Dumelo. No, fuck the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you after the show. I was just telling them you fired me, but it's all good. What are you rehiring him? No, no, no. T- take me off, bro. I can't do any shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you afterwards. Let hey, me know. This tombs are. Edit, edit me out. Thank you. All right, <laughs> Yeah, he he hired me on why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was an intern. Yeah. In fact, I was I was um <clears throat> volunteering on Muto's uh, weekend show mm. in the morning. And he said, yo, apply for the Y Academy. And then from there, he hired me. Nice. Mm. I saw a lot of chillers are saying I must bring um, Kenton Pillay and Ravi Naidu, my previous bosses. Mm. Kenton Pillay, Ravi Naidu. Mm. Jesus Do you, do you agree with that, Dudu? Print. Would you like that? Or we're going to workshop it? <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that one? Oh. Okay. Ravi Naidu and Kenton Pillay. Okay. Oh, so it's you and Google, man. Oh. Hey, there's a lot of shit, man. I don't know what Kenton play. Ah, we'll workshop it. We'll workshop it. <laughs> yeah, let's workshop it. Let's see how it goes, man. It's yeah. Like it's... yeah, so you want to talk about the song? Yeah, yeah I think it's going to be, it's going to do well, man. Right. There's another song I heard, man, mm. but George Davis is not sending it. Outbook Sound is another very special song. Mm. It's got a, it's another very special song. I forgot the name. It's very like I'm seeing videos of these songs, you know, because mm. Kevin Momo played both at the um, balcony. Uh, 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 balcony. Did you end up going party. to the balcony? No, I couldn't, bro. Uh. I couldn't. But also it was a mess. I heard because mm. I had a I had a gig to go. Was it a flight? Not a flight. Pulukwan. But I, yeah, I had a, a Pulukwani drive, so mm. I couldn't. You know, uh, the boys really wanted me to, wanted me to pull through, but I couldn't. Ghost uh, lady. Um, obviously it's the season right now for radio and the reshuffling going on. Ah, and it's rumored cares, that uh Bonang. Oh wow. Great, Bonang great. is where I'm curious. I'm, I'm cu- we care. Some of us care. Some of us, you know. No, no, just a rumor that she might be back on radio. Oh, are you gonna wake up and listen to her? Exactly. Where? Metro. Oh, we don't know. Oh uh, yeah, but well, it's just Bonang a, needs a gig, man. She hasn't yeah, done anything in a while. Yeah, she she does. She mm. does. I'd love to hear on radio. She, she she did well on radio. She like, did. Because when she came in, it was like, ah, and it girl or whatever. But you could tell she put a lot of effort into it and she actually was palatable and eventually enjoyed no, it. No, she wasn't. Man. She was, no, bro. Ah, oh, don't she know. She was. She was presenting man. on radio. At first, at first. But eventually, well, she the, the, like, the, the Bonang on her reality show. Yeah. If that was on radio, yeah. Now we're talking. Mm. Bo, bo, bo. Eh. Champagne, what, what, you know that Champagne, thing? what the... Yeah, Champagne, goes, darling. Goes, yeah. Always yeah. goes wretched to Anna. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's, yeah, yes. I see. Yes, yes. But, I think but there she was presenting. Like, fucking amazing. I think she's the greatest presenter we've ever had. She mm. is, yeah. Uh, she is. And she's 
carved like a whole path. Remember that girl that SABC thing <laughs> uh, was was emceeing that yeah. thing. You can you already know? tell, yeah. <laughs> yeah or, uh, but that one of you, yeah. Right? yeah actually, a whole Bonang There's thing. a lot of them. There's a, a lot. lot of them who are inspired by Bonang. It's yes. They sound root. like Bonang. Yeah. They new Bonang. Yes. yes. They yes. sound like Bonang. They sound, they present like her. Yeah. That is amazing. But my, my thing is, it is. But my, copy. Yes. Not, True. But my thing is, well, guys, Bonang just showed you that if you come with a new thing and you're yourself, it will work. It doesn't necessarily mean all of you guys will ah, But she took it to the top, it. dog. Yeah. She took it to the top, Everybody dog. did. Scoop took it to the top. But he, it was also an affirmation that when you're on TV, do your own thing. Have Caesar your own Lomo flavor. came with yeah. that whole, Caesar. I don't care, I'm a rich boy yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, you know, bravado vibe. Exactly. So just do you, man. And people... What are we doing on SBC 2? Poison, tell me. Ah, tell me. Who do like, ask? <laughs> Who was born? Who was born? Hey, who do you ask? Who was born? Who was born? But I uh, mean, we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. That thing, yeah. We're doing Hillbro and Street Kid vibes. Rate the cake. I think we'll be fine, man. I think we'll be fine. Park Town meets Hillbro. Hey, chaos, right? The leafy suburbs meet the blunt pavement of Hillbro. <laughs> uh, did you renew your contract? You still, you still on breakfast? My contract is, 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 is I got a three-year contract. Nice. I remember when we got on. So. Uh, I'm still on the same contract up until 2025. With Caesar, eh? Uh, initially, I'm not with Caesar, but remember, my contract is with the station. Mm. It's not necessarily with a particular. So, presenter. What, who, who's changing at your at your station? <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh, okay. I have no idea. You know how they Sol. keep these things. You know how they keep these things sec- secret. <laughs> oh yeah. Huh? If it was Caesar sitting here, Caesar pula. Marusola, 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 Caesar knows. Caesar knows. He, you know, he knows everything. Solaban. Yeah. Ah, John like, Solomon. Like it's time's up like that. Uh, Tiba Touch yeah. said, uh, Loot Love is doing breakfast at Metro. Sebi? Oh, with yeah. Sebi? Yeah, with Sebi, yes. Oh, Sebi and Loot Love. Ah, I could be mistaken, but I heard him say something like I think, that. yeah, she'll probably do it. I don't see Loot Love doing a breakfast on her own. No, 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 yeah. no. She's with yeah. Sebi, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's doing breakfast now in Metro? Sebi. Sebi. Oh, Sebi. Yeah. Sebi, yeah, oh, Sebi. Okay. DJ Sebi. Yeah. Oh, with, with Candice, ne? Yeah. And then uh, afternoon is TV. But no one really cares, man. No one gives a shit. Yeah, he he really cares. Look at him. <laughs> he was not like, yeah. Then Chiggy Chiggy. He really now, cares. Chiggy Chiggy. Chiggy Chiggy. For all you know, they're offering. Really Uthu Melo, why is he calling you, actually? No, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Hey, a program manager. Wait, wait, wait. A program manager just called you just before April. Hey, no, man. I love podcasting. Ah, Mac. I don't want to go back to slavery. Let's go back to slavery. Imagine having to be somewhere at a certain time every fucking day. Sol is doing well at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not for everyone, man. (laughs) It's not for everyone. It's not not slavery, but it's not for everyone. Mac, you did it. Yeah? You did it before. Yeah, before I knew. The freedom. <laughs> the freedom. The freedom. <laughs> Greener pastures. <laughs> Mara, why is Dumelo calling you? Ah, and you can't call him back. And, and, and also, also he, <laughs> Dumelo, Dumelo, Dumelo revealed the reason by saying, edit me out. Mm. You know, because obviously, Radio Man calls you, ah, but it's too late now, man. I mean, April is like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not going back to radio. Fuck that shit. We're not oh, editing him out, right? No. Nah, 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 fuck no, that. He must chill. He must chill. Yeah. He fired me. Fuck him. Exactly. Now he's gonna t- give you instructions on your own platform Yo. after firing. Yo. We love Stooms, man. When I last saw him at Mullo. Oh, man, you know Cliff passed away, right? Mullo. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, I last saw Dumelo at Mullo's funeral, man. Mullo mm. used to be at YFM, you know? Mm. Hey, man, cancer, bro. Eesh, cancer. Got a man. young child, young wife. Hey, bro. Hey, man, that thing, cancer, bro. Yeah, I don't wish that on Mullo. Me, man. In fact, Mullo is called, was commissioning editor at ACBC for, for, for entertainment. Uh, yeah, so I think what we're doing, he probably would have had a hand in it. Uh, um, I'm not sure it, whether, when the discussion started, mm. but he definitely would have uh, vouched for us. All right, cool, man. So as you guys know, we're giving away 200K for the next four weeks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The adverts. Yes. So all you got to do is buy yourself uh, the new variant of Chiller's Punch. Shoot an ad, tag Chiller's Punch, and then you could win yourself 10,000 rands. So uh, we are announcing three winners. Spreading Humans will announce two winners. Wow, beautiful. So today we are announcing the fact that Stan YC mm. underscore therapist, as well as P-O-T-J-O Porto, as well as Sean under the score under Sniper mm. have all won 10,000 rands. Shout out! Shout out! Shout out. Shout out. Shout out.
Shout yes. out, man. Well yes. done, guys. Yes, yes. And then uh, the podcast, uh, podcast Live Nation Tour continues. Uh, we're in Bloom. Yep. On the 13th of April, Civic, uh, Civic Theatre. Ah. And then we're in Limpopo on the 27th of April. Oh. And then finally, now we found a place in Northwest. We're going to be at the Rustenburg Civic Theatre nice. on the 8th of June. Tickets are officially available. Just check out the description below to get your tickets. But yeah, we are rocking and rolling. Oh, Ooh. shout out, man. Conway. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. Have you guys checked out the Tyler album? No, no, no. no. Haven't had the time to. I was looking forward to the Kelvin Momo song. It's a, it's a voice note. You know the, the intro. It's featuring Kelvin Momo, and everybody was like excited about it. Turns out it's a vo- like it's a voice note. So she was in the studio with Kelvin Momo, and then recorded a voice note of Momo speaking with other people and vibing to a song, mm. and that's it. Like it was a really damn squib. People were really excited for it, but I haven't checked out the album. But I like the fact that it's like two minute songs, three minute songs. Oh, is it? Okay. It's like fourteen songs, but like thirty minutes. Mm. And then I, I, maybe that's the global trend. Mm. Obviously, she would know. Her team would know. Mm. Uh, but I honestly tried getting it. It's Afro. Beats and I'm not really an Afro beats kind of person. Mm. I listen to like the first four songs. It's nice. The people who love that sound will really love it and appreciate it. Mm. But the whole work, I thought maybe one of you guys had listened. Nah, to nah, 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 I haven't had a chance. For any man. feedback, uh, okay. I haven't had time, man. I couldn't. I really tried, but not to say it's bad. It's mm. just it's Afro beats. I'm not really an Afro beats person. Did you see Black China? Um, his mom um, was doing an, a Talk podcast. You. Black and China's mom. Yeah, I was doing a podcast and she said uh, Tyler is part of the Illuminati and whatnot. Why? <clears throat> she came out of nowhere. She's just questioning how she just shot up into stardom. Like mm. she just, she basically like... Nah, man. What was she called? What kind of vibes? Nah, man. But it's the same thing you were saying, right? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. That's Trevor Noah conversation. That wasn't your stance. No, no, no. Oh, no. sorry, my bad. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, why? Okay, so now we're going to question overnight successes because of the Illuminati and everyone who's, who's had the lack of fortune and things changing like nah, overnight so, and say. So, so, you're a smart guy. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. We live in the world of social media. Everything yeah. is documented. Yeah. So, for example, you can trace back Uncle Waffle's success. Yeah. From that gig that she did, and then Drake uh, reposted Boom Boom, and then you know she yeah. flew. So <clears throat> Tyler was on uh, TikTok. Dude, it's Tyler trended. Drink. Remember Tyler's song with that kid Cold Drink? Yeah. Tyler, let me t- play you the song. song with Cold Drink. Yeah, but who saw a good America? Bro, that song was international. Remember the song? No, I get that. But who saw Go to America? I'm sure they'll tell you that. Yeah, I know this song. I remember this song. Yeah, and this song got 9 million views from three years ago, bro. That's fine. From that to, to a Grammy. What was happening in between? What happened was, oh, the song. Then a, a team. Then Shoma Josie dumped her, uh, her team. Boyfriend. Then boyfriend was like, I'm going to avenge. So, so Tyler, yes. Ah, yes, Tyler, and she's light skinned and even prettier. Ah, then he went beast mode, and he's international as a manager. That's why Shoma Josie was on Ellen DeGeneres. We were here talking about this. Shoma Josie made it to Ellen DeGeneres' show because of her boyfriend, who was her manager, right? True. Now, the boyfriend, the same guy who could get a, a, a Tonga girl mm-hmm. to Ellen DeGeneres, mm-hmm. managed to get a colored lady. To the Grammys with a song that was worthy and deserving of being. You didn't, on the my, stage. you didn't answer my question, though. I just I'm, told you. I'm saying from that song to her winning the Grammys, what is happening in between? She recorded what? water in between. But it wasn't she documented. It wasn't documented. So what? Oh, we don't what, know. What if, what if she's gonna drop? What do you mean you don't know? Doc, it's, social, it's it's social media. Oh, hi, Mac. I make. Oh, I'm a woman. Now I want to chill us. I'm a woman. Dude, you get what I'm saying, man? cook. Yes. Oh. She doesn't get you. No, you Fed Checker knows how to, not how to express my mind. Fed Checker, please explain what I'm saying. You know, you, you, you get into my mind. I understand exactly what your question is. I just don't know how to explain it, but I'll try, right? Okay. You're trying to say that what happened with the come up, you know, obviously she did the song with Cool Drink and that's what got her into the spotlight. So she's supposed to be 
growing a fan base that's gonna bring her up to the Grammy. My girl. Which she just got it after water. My girl. Instantly. My girl. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so every time Max says okay, my guys, girl, hold on, okay. says it louder. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Musically and sonically, yes. water. Is it not a dope song? It is. Is it, it is. not a song that deserves a Grammy? It is. Mm. How is Illuminatism? <laughs> Where, how is the... Uh, 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 wait, 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 what does that have to do with what we're talking about? No, no, no. How is... It, what I'm saying is, you say, how did she get to the Grammys? But we must say, say no, no, no. she got to the Grammys for what? For the song. No, but what, she got, hey, what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. if you look at Uncle Waffles, right? For Uncle Waffles to be as big as she is now, yes. it's been well documented in terms yes. of we live in an age of social media where yes. you can see her, her rise. Yes. Like you can see her playing at that venue or whatever yeah. and she's doing the Adiwele thing. Yes. Boom, slows yes. up, right? It's gradual. Yes. It's gradual. And yes. then you see her gigging and then you see her doing this and it's all there. Does it need to be the same template for everyone? In this day and age, yes. In the day and age of technology, of social media, of emails, of you could make a song like Getting Old with Code Drink, and then an international company could call you and say, yo, we want to hear some of your stuff. We want to have a meeting with you. Yep. Does it really have to be but how do you explain, as if we're living in an age of demos? But, and, dog, how do you explain from Cool Drink to uh, 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 Grammys? And I like what Fed Checker said. Where is the fan base there? How are you growing your fan base? Mac. But dude, she grew the song with Cold Drink before Tyler. Now it's on 9 million. Before uh, Water. Yeah. It had a few million because of the high production value of the video. Yeah, beautiful and the video. Song was yes. a, mm. The song was all over. The song was a hit, bruh. Mm. It was all over. Right? Mm. Cool. And then management calls her. Ne? Or she gets discovered through that song. Ne? And then she goes on to record this song. Under a camp that has got access to the Billboard 100, because everybody makes amazing songs, but not all the songs get into those spaces. But what I'm saying was, this is the same team that exactly. got that got that girl, uh, Tonga girl, on Ellen DeGeneres. We didn't question that on how uh, uh, Sean Majosi made it to Ellen DeGeneres because she was rapping with OK Malum Cool Cat, and we saw the come up. Mm -hmm. so, so now because she had the same team as Sean Majorzi, that team was plugging Sean Majorzi in America. T take away the team. She's got nothing. That's what She's we got say. Song. That's what we say. But the team, but you're saying Illuminati, I'm saying team. Okay, okay, also, no, are no, you no, calling no, the team okay, Illuminati? Okay, we're, we're removing the team then. She's got nothing. That's what we're saying. But it's not like. But the team is, she's got an international team that is connected and has got the networks to the people at the top. So and, 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 and fortunately, they gave those networks an amazing song and yeah. we can't deny it. No, you can't deny that. But you cannot also deny the fact that that team could be, quote unquote, Illuminati. Oh. That's how she got in their spaces. Because without I can't that. that. Without, I can't without, defend with, the music and her journey. But, but without, it. without that team, what is Tyler? I don't know what the team does. Exactly. If the team... Exactly. I don't know what someone who in the team is doing stuff with who in Hollywood. You that, understand, know, you understand what I'm saying? That's speculating. That's speculating. And that's what we're saying. Or that it could not... It doesn't mean it's not true. It could be. Because... Nah, man. Because... because I'm like, I'm done. Dog, that team, if they took you now, mm. you could win a Grammy. Oh, I would host the Grammy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'll be hosting the Grammys team. Tomorrow I'll be hosting the Grammys. So it's the team. It's the team. Yeah, yeah, she's got a dope team. Yeah, now how the team gets the Ellen DeGeneres of this world, the Grammys of this world, we don't know. They're just connected. Can't we just believe connected that? Connected to who? Illuminati. The people on top. What's Illuminati? <laughs> the people on top. Damn go. You see, that's speculating. It's speculating, but it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, and a thousand other things also make sense that could validate her story. To of and, and it could be legit. Fetchek, I need your above help. Above water. Here. I need your help here. <laughs> for me, there's a working. <laughs> there's already a Explain working there. formula. Explain what I'm saying. Okay, um, I just researched Tyler ICU songs, right? Ah, Tyler, oh, no, 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 no. oh, not Tyler ah, ICU, Tyler, Askies. 
Tyler, without the ICU, right? And what I saw is that um, before the Water album came out, right? The recent album and the Water album, she actually had the single from 2019, which is Getting Late with Cool Drink, right? So what he's trying to say is that if it wasn't for whoever who had hands in her growth, there's a high possibility that she wouldn't actually have gotten the Grammy. Because if you think about it, people who have Grammys have of bodies course. of work, right? And it's Black weird coffee. how her, her single... The Grammy with a breakout song. Okay, not not all people. It's a it's, it's, it's a few people who actually do get it, and also Good some of the newcomers baby, have baby. been working for years, months before getting it. It's just that we're not sure of their music because we're in South Africa, they're in America. You get me. But all I'm trying to say is that what Mac is saying is that if it isn't Good for <laughs> if it isn't for whoever had a hand in her success and whoever they were affiliated with, she wouldn't be where she's at. Yeah, I'm oh. not saying he's he's right by assuming that they're affiliated with the Illuminati, but looking That's at the, the way her growth is, and nowadays people are also questioning Kevin Hart's um, recent growth oh, and wow. how he just came Kevin out Kevin Hart is still short. What recent growth? <laughs> <laughs> There's this statement stating that he just came out of the blue and started. No, growing. Kevin. Kevin Hart's in with the white people. We all know yeah, that. so you can find that he's also looking at it from that perspective of you come out of nowhere with a single, and all of a sudden you're Grammy nominated. These thi- these things, it's a product, guys. They're selling a product. It's manufactured. You see, Yabonai, Yabonai, when you say that. I, I get I you. I get you. When you when you That's now gonna go philosoph- uh, uh, conspiracy theory, yeah. When you say it's a product, definitely, you can say Tyler was created in the boardroom. Mm. After this getting late uh, single, mm. then someone took her mm. and said, "Okay, damn, perfect looks, That's good talent, voice, Dancing. can sing, can dance, African. South African. There's a big appetite for Africa, and there's Afrobeats booming right yeah. now. Cool. We'll assemble an uh, an arsenal of." Producers, you know, yeah. a team of super producers and features. Oh, by the way, shout out to Tyler. Not a lot of features on the up on, mm-hmm. on the project, you know, mm-hmm. which is testament to her talent. But that I, I don't, I, I can't dispute when mm-hmm. you say she's uh, uh, created in the board in the boardroom. I, yeah, sharp. But Illuminati is speculating. But to say she's, she's uh, created in the boardroom, yeah, definitely. I can, I can, do I can you, accept that. Do you think you can win a Grammy? an Oscar, or any of these things without Illuminati having a hand in it. Who is the Illuminati? The guys in power. The guys that control everything. Okay. But that's the world over, bro. So, like, do, you so think in South Africa, do you think in South Africa you can win a Sama without the connections? No, you can't. At, at uh, uh, Risa no. and... No, you can't. But that's what I'm saying. Okay. That's not a conspiracy. We know who controls these things. Yeah, you, well, you should have said that. But <laughs> no. No, when you say Illuminati, you make it sound like, you know, she goes out at night and then dips her, yes. her, her face in some bo- b- pot of blood. Like there's some boiling ritual blood she partook with in. A, with an, a, a, a red hood covered, covering her face, standing in a circle. We don't know. We've never been in Illuminati, dog. We don't know. In a weird house. Maybe that's what happens. We don't know. <laughs> Wait until we get to the US. We then enjoy We'll guys. find out. <laughs> we'll say Illuminati, where are you? We're looking for you. Go to the bus stop. Have you seen Illuminati, man? I'm it's Illuminati. <laughs> anyway, oh, Ghost Lady, anything else? I know. You're done, good. yeah. I'm Paduka, good. you're done? Yeah. All right, man. We out of here, man. Podcast in jail. Boom. Bye. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Bungo yig, even if when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistidi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? 
podcast and chill.